Hi, my name's Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Land Rover Defender, then I'll take you for riding it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. I'm um, probably going to get shot when I go back because this is where the car should be. I brought it out into the country. It was absolutely mint before I set off. And of course, uh, well, country roads, you know what's on country roads. But I take it from me, this, it's, it's a beautiful car, it really is. Um, I'll tell you a bit more about it. It's a Defender 90 2.2 TD DPF hardtop. 2013 on a 13 plate has been owned by one retired farmer from New. As I said before, the car is absolutely lovely. It's done 32,140 miles. Fuel economy, urban is 24.6 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 31.4 miles per gallon. And combined is 28.3 miles per gallon. It has a top speed of 90 miles an hour, a 0 to 60 time of 15.8 seconds, out of 122 brake horsepower, 16 valve, four cylinder engine. I, I don't know where to start on the specification. Um, it's got virtually nothing, but it's so good to drive. I, I don't want to sell it. It's, uh, I don't think I'd find another one like this. It's just, it's, it's the right colour, it's got cloth interior, it's got heated front screen, electric windows, um, and uh, heated seats too. Continental tyres all round, uh, cross contacts I think they are. But just going back to the old days, when you could buy a car, work on it, repair it. Um, I, I was videoing a Volvo yesterday and the heater controls, just unbelievably complicated and, and you, you have to take your eyes off the road to work them. The, the front of the car, you touch anything and it's going to cost you a couple of hundred quid to get it resprayed. This, I mean, that's, that's honestly, I'm definitely going to get killed now. That's, that's like a girder. So it's, it's absolutely solid. The, the, the panels, it's just, it's so well made. It's so easy. Flat glass. Um, anyway, what can I tell you about it? It's, I, I would say those are the parking sensors. When you hear a clang, you've run into something. Uh, just plastic grill, the old style indicator lamps and side lamps you put a bulb in two screws bulb in the new ones these days one led they've got about 50 leds and one led goes you've got to replace the whole thing it's about 500 quid 60p from halfords uh, and the, the same with the headlamps all you need really um the big thick easy to clean um, five spoke alloy wheels and, and these you know again the, I'm using a Range Rover it's got deployable side steps I get out of the car and I, I get out before the side steps deployed so it then hits me in the back of the leg and puts mud all over the back of my pants proper door handles not not these that, that pop out <laughs> stupid things got the uh, spare wheel under here proper full-size spare wheel no get your home things or a, a can to blow it up the big Land Rover uh, mud flaps proper sturdy tow bar and uh, the step here that folds out door handle it's like again like a piece of angle iron and, and a door that weighs a ton in the back heavy-duty uh, matting the, the rubber matting and, it, and again it, it's 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 lovely it's for, uh, a 13 plate and a, and a defender that normally gets you know pretty battered uh, and well used this you'll, you'll never find another one like it got a side step there don't go all the way along it's just for you to get in it's purposeful like everything else in in the car uh, <laughs> I, uh, I've come out to the country and I, I used to have one of these a long, long time ago and it was old when I bought it and, and I've, I've said before, I bought it when I was doing the house up and uh, with a trailer just, just so as I could chuck stuff in. 
and it was uh, at the time I thought it was horrible to drive but I've, I've driven out here to take photographs of this in the, in the country where I think it deserves because it's a lovely car and it's this is where you more than likely see one in fact I've, I've seen several up uh, you know on the farms that's all they use because they know they can go anywhere they know they can, if they need to go up there for anything they're gonna get there um, but they really do drive well and I, I've got to say I, I long for vehicles like this with proper switches steering wheels that don't explode in your face if you if you bump anything um, as I say you know if you're too hot you don't have to look anywhere you don't have to take your eyes off the road you just go over to the switch cool it down turn it up you know what what's so difficult why why have an iPad these days that controls all your switches so if your iPad goes your car you can't use your car you know, nothing will work on your car whereas all right your heated rear windscreen switch goes well so what you know I'll get a new switch your heated front screen goes they're, they're all separate you you wash wipe your rear wash wipe your fog lamps not none of this messing around on an I, iPad it, it's it's just so good and he, again I mean I I, I I couldn't lie to save my life and you jump in one of these and, and the first thing I think is I'm, I'm too close to the steering wheel there's no shoulder room the seat back won't go back far enough because of this and then after after a short while I'm driving it I'm thinking oh this seat's, this seat's comfortable you know and, and I, I absolutely loved it anyway quickly let, let me tell you the service history um, it's quite strange obviously we're still on lockdown but uh, this is my job I am doing my job I'm not doing anything uh, that I shouldn't be doing I'm videoing cars but uh, I pulled up here before and there was nobody here at all I thought great so as soon as I started uh, photographing I got all the photographs done and then as soon as I started videoing of course with sound an old couple came and they, they parked right next to me so even though I got the camera in front of it they parked right next to me so then I got in the car and I moved it I moved it up and he does no more than moves his car up as well <laughs> and then well he turns the radio on and as old couples do bless them the uh, they must have been a little hard of hearing so the radio is on full blast um, which of course means if, if there's any if there's any records come on and my cameras pick it up you get a copyright strike or, or they, they, they take the, the track off the soundtrack so uh, I had to wait till they've till he gone but uh, as I say bless them lovely, lovely day lovely place this absolutely lovely place right so the first service 4280 was done at Lancashire Police HQ they've got a garage at Hutton at the main HQ and, and quite a few people in the know uh, used to take the vehicles there then 8700 um, that's Andrew somebody or other so yeah that's Lancs it's the same signature so that's Lanx Police HQ uh, unfortunately um, he's not going to make a detective because he's not put the he's not put the date on that's, uh, sorry about the mics it's a it's a nightmare this road system was meant to replace my other system in here as it happens it doesn't work so I'm still having to use my old one I've got I've got microphones clipped everywhere trying to keep them out of the way and stop them rubbing on this uh, on the seat belt because that gets annoying too so 8th 11th 2018 23,917 miles Mick Easton motor engineer 29th of 10th 2019 27,314 Mick Easton motor engineer uh, 5th 11th 2020 31,202 miles McEastam again so um, good service history There's, say, the, the, the car is just I mean it, it's just lovely really we'll, we'll get going oops I've dropped a page there might be something important the, the chap that's had it lovely old chap proper handbrake you know, none of this electronic rubbish with zzz, zzz, that sort of stuff big handbrake foot on the brake 
press the end in and then let it off and, and you, you know you know I, i'd much rather have even when i was uh, when i pulled up here it's like a hundred foot drop at the back of the vehicle so i'm thinking i'm thinking i hope this handbrake's holds and you just pull it on a little bit more just give it another another yank you can't do that with an electric handbrake you, you press it and that's it i hate them now anyway let's let's try and that's the toolkit rattling there that that was jammed with this seat but i've had to move the seat forward because of my camera so you, you'll be able to hear the toolkit rattling but this is I, I love it around here. I come walking around here quite a lot. And uh, lots of farmers. Lots of Land Rovers and Range Rovers. I'll just try and stop that rattling, actually. I don't know whether that's it's that rattling or it could be my tripod in the back. Anyway, I've also put the 360 camera on because it's, it's such a lovely place to come for a drive. Just trying to find the source of that rattle, I, I think I think it's in the back in my camera gear uh, because I, I certainly didn't hear it before when I was coming up here. But look at look at these. I mean, it, it hasn't got a lot of spec bits, but you don't want it to have. You don't want stuff to break down. You you, you just want stuff to work. You need it to work. You know, on icy cold mornings when they're going out to do whatever it is, whatever it is farmers do at that time in the morning, they want to go out to the vehicle. They want it to start, and when it's snowing, they need it to be able to get it out of a drive, not to have all the mates pushing them. I tell you what, it's un unbelievable that. Um, that camera's gone off. It's only started doing that since I had me AstraZeneca injection. Just just switches off for no reason. That's uh, <laughs> very, very train indeed. Anyway, I'm not going to let a little thing like that spoil my enjoyment. So say th this, this car, if you were, uh, if you knock everything down to, to basics, and you wanted a car that would just keep going forever and go anywhere, do anything, chuck your dog in the back, a bale of hay, whatever, then then this is it. I am um, I, I prefer automatics these days, but I'm actually enjoying driving this. It's, uh, the, the gearing is unusual, but it's got to be. It's got to be built for going up hills and so on. You've got the, the four wheel drive selector just on the right hand side here. The gears aren't as forgiving as in some cars, but it's, it's, it really is lovely. And also, uh, there's so many kits, and I don't, I don't mean like that G-Wagon I saw the other day that, that looked like they spent thousands of pounds on it to make it look hideous. 
there's, there's some nice interior kit. Um, there's some. I, I don't particularly like exterior kits because uh, they're obviously better original. But there's, there's some lovely leather upholstery kit. And if you wanted, if you wanted this, if you bought this to keep, it's got to be. I, I would think this will be appreciated. Really, I think we're too cheap on it. To be fair. Um, but uh, you know, we we we're not car we car sales not collectors. I, I, but I do wish I could keep this because it's a lovely example. It must be one of the nicest. I think I'll earmark that spot for my next video. You know this this lovely diesel engine just tugging away up here up this hill you, 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 you can't really tell from the cameras the the angle that you're going up but it is a steep hill and we're just plodding away a big steering wheel nothing <laughs> that, again that, that car that I was out in the other day I drive like that normally I drive way back and, and like so and the palm of my hand kept touching the multifunction button here which controlled the radio so the radio kept going, either turning up or going off radio I mean I, I don't even like that radio that, that's too modern He looked like he was enjoying it. Not. This, this, I've been here before when somebody's been avoiding that water and there's a, a motorbike come around here about 100 miles an hour and nearly collided head on. So you've got to be careful up here. Lots of cyclists, lots of motorbikes. And quite often you see a few cars down there. Um, somebody who's run out of talent coming around the, the track you always meet at the, the narrowest part where these bollards never on the widest track but fortunately with the defender you can see the corners I, I can see the corners exactly This, I mean, this actually takes me back because even when, when I was about, well, as soon as I learned to drive, um, I used to I used to come out here, and of course you'd have you'd have manual gearboxes then. And it, these brakes, servo-assisted brakes these days, sometimes it, there's hardly any touch on them, and it, it senses if you if you press too hard, it thinks that you're going to have an accident, and it pulls the brake on even harder the brake assist these you can you can feel the, the there you go big pulling it to a halt and then the the clutch big clutch and you, you let the clutch out you, you you feel the clutch thud into the, the flywheel all proper stuff you, you, you know you feel it click into gear it's just an excellent vehicle. I, and it, some of them, I'm sure one, uh, one of the anniversary models, went for something like 400,000 quid the other day. And then you see the Spectre uh, Defenders quarter of a million quid I mean I know this is only a kind of a three door but I quite like the Spectre one with you know with the, the lamps on and so on and you, you can get all those sorts of things this would look absolute I mean it looks don't get me wrong it, it looks great now I really like it the way it is but I know there'll be people out there who want to 
jazz it up a bit, you know, and, and put the spot lamps on, then, uh, then, then fine, you can do it. But this, this road is the road's terrible. It really is. Uh, but it wasn't made to go fast on. It uh, and. You get a bit of tyre noise, he's got these cross contact tyres on, but it's not too intrusive. Um, in, in fact, I'd, I'd say it's it's not as bad as some BMWs, which, uh, with, you know, with a combination of run flats and M Sport suspension, personally, I, I'd, I'd rather walk. Six speed box as well. What time is it? 25 past 12. I've uh, taken rather longer than I expected to video this. We've got loads on at the garage, loads of nice cars have come in that need videoing. We've got a lovely Jaguar XJ, a Mini Countryman, I think it is. Several vans. Look around here. I mean, I, I love Italy, but uh, when it's a nice day in the English countryside, there's not many places that are, are nicer. Yeah, motorbike. Um, Cyclist. We're always on the lookout for sheep as well, or any other furry creatures. Same. People running out of talent going too fast. Somebody's took the uh, post out there at the cattle grid. Very soft at the side of the road as well. So if you if you meet somebody coming in the other way in a car like that, and your wheel just goes off slightly, then you're off more than slightly. Electric windows as well. The heated seats are here. Some ducks there. I don't need the heated seats on. Another Land Rover. Only nice people drive Land Rovers. 
apart from, apart from certain types of Range Rover. Just look at it. It's lovely. Get rid of all those ECUs, all those stupid iPads, all the silly electronic handbrakes, all the stop start, digital service history, bin them all and bring cars back like this. Nice driving position. We can see over the dry stone walls. Feels oh, one, one of the uh, one of the other things that uh, this reminded me of was the the heater again in the past climate control and so on they've got sensors for all the the vents and you know you get people coming in and say oh my climate control's not working this this vent over here doesn't seem to be opening you're like well, what do you want me to do about it? You, you need a rocket scientist. But this, when, when I was driving out here, it was first thing this morning, it was quite cold, and I got the heat on full blast. And then I uh, I went to put the handbrake on, the handbrake's here, and it's right next to the heater vent. And it was like, it was, it was almost like one of those things you brand cattle with. Was, I got a picture of my hand, the handbrake on my hand. It's, uh, so the heat just, it, it just pours out until you warm it off and then you turn it down. <laughs> What's so difficult with that? Instead of loads of sensors, all in the headlining. You know, if something don't work, there's, there's, there's sensors all over the car. Whoever buys this will enjoy driving, but not in the traditional sense of the, the, the word. They'll enjoy driving in the countryside, not fast, not going around bends, you know, Harry Flatters, but going somewhere just for a drive, just to enjoy it and, and to enjoy the countryside too. Well, sure I've bored you enough now um, but I, and, and also I'm not really superstitious but I never fill order forms out before the customer comes even if they say they come in I always wait till they come I don't say a car sold until we've actually got a deposit on it um, and I never say first to seal by, but 
there's no wood, wood in here either. If you want a Land Rover Defender, you want a nice example that's been well looked after, one owner example, in the best colour, then if you cut out, oh, mind you, you can't, you can't come and see it, can you? Uh, that's, I can't even say that anymore because with the COVID rules, before you can, you can only come to pick it up at the moment. You can't come and see it. We can only agree a deal according to the government, which I'm not arguing with. I'm not, I'm not moaning about it. We've, we've been trying to do it that way for, for the last five years, hence all these videos um, and the website and, and web cameras and you know, you name it. So the first person who leaves the deposit and comes to pick it up will buy it and if you don't like it when you come to pick it up we just give you the deposit back no questions asked if you don't like it there's your money back we don't want any unhappy customers um, but you couldn't be unhappy with this car it's brilliant like a heated steering wheel and it, and and that's about it really go I found two places today that I'm always looking for I always come across them accidentally and then and, and find them accidentally but um, I think the photos of our cars look the photos and the videos they look a lot better in surroundings like this than they do up a road near the tip with bin wagons going past all the time. Uh, it's just unfortunate, it takes me such a long time to get here. And by the time I get here, you know, on these roads, the, the car's messed up. But uh, I think I'll try and do more videos out here. And this isn't the vehicle you'd buy to go up the motorway, although I, I was doing 65 miles an hour in it before. As I say, a little bit of tyre noise, but very, very pleasant. And I'm, I'm, I am, I'm comfortable. It's just first impressions when you used to sit in way, way away like I do. I mean, it, this, this is the position I sit in really when there's somebody when there's four people in and I've got to move my seat forward. No biggie, is it? And there you go. Meet a cyclist right on a bend. We'll try and go past, hopefully nobody will come around this way. I think, as I say, I've probably bored you enough now. We're just running parallel with the motorway here. Gear, gearbox. You know, it, it's it's not a sports car gearbox. It's a. Uh, it, it's not difficult. It's just British. That's what it is. It's the best of British. And it, to be honest, it, it doesn't get any better than the best of British. I'm gonna finish the test drive there again. So, um, if you're looking for any other vehicle that we haven't got at the moment, look at, have a, a a glance at our website ggcars.co.uk see if there's anything on there that you want to buy and if not just let us know what you're looking for we don't pester we don't 
we're not on the phone every two minutes. If we find a car, we'll let you know, usually by text and usually with a link to the vehicle. If you ring us saying you're interested, then, then great. If you don't, no harm done. But um, And you can have a look at our web store on bccars.co.uk. If you're looking for any motor, motoring related goods. Myesco College Driver Training. <laughs> I don't seem big on social distancing. Oh, it's a Citroen van. Should have gone to uh, the farm shop at Chipping. Got a roast beef sandwich like that guy in the helicopter did the other day. Right, that's it. Sorry, sorry for going on. Just going to find somewhere where I can pull in and just knock these cameras off. GoPros stop recording.